Well, welcome back, everyone. Trading at all-time highs can become a onerous task unless you've got strategies and tools to help you along the way. And that's the theme of today's video. And if you watch to the end of the video, I'm going to have a special invite to have you learn a whack of skills that I think can become very useful in this type of a market. Now, what you're looking at is a bell curve. It's tilted 90 degrees on its left-hand side. And the center of a bell curve is really where that average is. This happens to be the volume weighted average price for the S&P 500. When you look at the overall picture on the screen, what we see here is we're in the upper half of the bell curve. Okay. We are closer to the two standard deviation line, which is an area where when we get to it in a late stage uptrend, we tend to pull back. So you can see that over here. You can see that over here as well. Now, today and yesterday, we were expecting a market to rise, and we were expecting the market in this week with Juneteenth on Wednesday to be a positive front half, weaker back half, and for the market to close and hold closer to the highs that it gains over Monday and Tuesday. Now, in fact, potentially even holding all the way through Thursday. Uh, that's a potential. What we're looking at now is the potential for price to engage with that two standard deviation line get up to the very top of its weekly pivot levels. That's the weekly pivot levels. The center is the darker and thicker lines. So we're not yet completely out of room, but the market is extraordinarily stretched. And how do we handle a situation like this when you're dealing with a market that has not quit? It's utilizing a few key names, or one, uh, NVIDIA, and that's making new all-time highs. How do you handle that situation in a market like this? Well, strategies that work time and time again allow one to potentially stay in a position with a partial and then actually go in and out of that same position with a little bit of the holding as well. Now, that's a strategy. I can't tell you what to do. I'm not a rich financial advisor. I was doing some trading today and I was doing it with one contract. If I was doing it with a couple of contracts or three contracts, well, the opportunity to hold one if I understand and can commit to the signal that the powerful tools are giving me, and then I can use strategies that are you know, very active day trading strategies that are very powerful to actually go and build some alpha on a trend. For example, today, we can obviously see the daily chart of the S&P E-minis, and this is still the M contract here, and you can see very clearly new highs. When you take a look at the, um, uh, the uh, action on the four-hour chart, we know very clearly we've nudged up to the highs that were made yesterday, perforated them, and underneath price action are incremental bullish signals. Now, a four-hour chart, you get two bars a day during the cash hours. It's not going to help me with the day trade beyond setting down the deepest tracks to make sure I don't trip over and, and stay in the right lane. But the one-hour chart is where the magic can happen. And of course, as a day trader, the five-minute and the one-minute can also be of extreme value. But where I wanted to focus you today is the power of the signals and utilizing the one hour chart to commit and stay steadfast on a signal, even at all time market highs. Take a look at where we are in price action as I move my vertical crosshairs towards 9 a.m. This is where I get together with the active trader room and wealth chart folk in the morning and give them some thoughts on how the technicals look what does the macro look like? What does my trading plan look like for the day? And as you can see over here, we had behavior first thing this morning that was somewhat out of a indecisive to you know a rather larger range type move. Well, that entire candle had its wake up over here, had its tail down over here, and underneath price, I'm going to unearth over here for you and make this full screen, the subchart tools where you'll see several marketplace indicators like Rob's ITP toolkit, his TRP toolkit, and also tools that come with your Wealth Charts Ultimate Membership, like the Spike 2.0 tool. You've also got the Triple S indicator here. And where we're going to really focus your eyes on is go to the very bottom of the page and take a look at that Spike 2.0 tool and look at it coming up off of the bottom of that channel. Committing to that durable move with duration of hours is offered up by a tool like this. It's not, nothing's perfect, but this was an amazing signal. And that signal 
repeated itself. You know, a couple of hourly bars in a row, actually about two and a half hourly bars in a row, and we actually got a move that was signaled saying that green line, the slow spike, is likely going to make its way up towards the top of that spike 2.0 channel. Now, building further on that, we got some TRP buy signals in advance of that, and we got the core and fast trigger using Rob's ITP toolkit starting to get more bullish, blue on blue, and the triple S indicator had its blue line, the king and the queen line, sloping up the entire time with incremental positives from the triple S line getting and holding above the center of the channel. This all together created a very high probability that the market would carry forward up for hours, not just one hour. Now, at the very beginning of the day, the structure of the four-hour chart and uh, all of the goings-ons did not allow for a clean picture. As we moved through 10 a.m., things started to get a lot clearer that were likelier to go higher. And that happened at very special moments where the slow spike got through the middle of its channel, right in around here. And you can see that happened during the 10 a.m. bar. It coincides with the ITP fast and core trigger going blue on blue and seeing that core trigger start to rise. Coincided with the triple S line coming back up above the center of the channel and price bouncing up above the speed lines and above the champion cross buy zone. And the rest has been history. Being able to remain in a position for hours while we're near all time highs and trying to go back and retest them is a nerve wracking affair. Powerful strategies can help create um, an opportunity and reduce some of that risk. And can you imagine if along that ride, one could be in and out on a five minute, 10, 15 minute basis? Well, some of the strategies you're gonna be learning from Dr. Keith Wade on tomorrow, a very, very special event that he's gonna be putting on for you while markets are closed. It's gonna be all about Heikinashi trading strategies with Dr. Keith Wade. He is an expert in this area. He does live trades, just like me. You saw about $262.50 pennies there with one contract trading. And that's coming from a, a net red position back up. Uh, so uh, it, it worked out quite nicely. And quite frankly, on a day like today, having strategies where one can become more active as that durable up signal that you saw was in place on that spike tool on the champion cross and the champion trend. Well, Dr. Key is going to be combining technical strategies together, focusing on Heiken Ashi uh, trading and teaching you how he uses these tools to create his edge in markets. You're going to learn from a real live trader yet again. And that's where the power is. Futures, options, the whole kit and caboodle. We'll see it tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Wednesday, June the 19th, tomorrow morning. It's not a recorded session. We'll see you there and look forward to sharing insights with you. Have a great rest of your day. Get to becomebettertrader.com forward slash yes to register. Bye for now all.